In terms of my story, I was born at seven months. I'm almost 60, so I'm a grandfather. I'm going to show a picture of my grandkids in a minute. We'll get to all of that. But I was born in the mid 60s, and my mum had toxemia when I was in the womb. So she was going to die at seven months, or I was going to die if I was left in the womb. So she was whipped into hospital. I was chopped out, cesarean, and I was a little two pound nine bubba when I was born. I was very lucky to be alive. I spent six weeks in an incubation chamber. And then as I grew, I ended up getting asthma and hay fever and allergies and flus and bugs and colds and everything you can imagine. Uh, I was constantly sick. I was on daily drugs every day for 20 years, 20, 25 years, Ventolin every day, 16 shots of Ventolin a day. Um, I was on Intel prevention. I was on steroid injections. And I remember being at Green Lane Hospital once. I was flown in there having an asthma attack. And in the 60s, they didn't have the puffers. So I was, I was having asthma before they had the Ventolin puffers, you know, and so everything was a steroid injection. And so I have vivid memories of being flown into the hospital and being held down on a table by doctors and my parents trying to hold my arms down because, of course, I was terrified of these big needles, as most of us are. And of course, when you're an asthmatic, it's very emotional and you lose your breath. So not only are you upset and you're crying and you don't understand what's happening, but also then that stops your breathing. So you have this real issue with breathing going on with asthma as well. It's very emotional. And it's quite a different disease, asthma, because for most of the time, if you get a, an illness of some sort, you can kind of identify it and you can say, oh, I've broken my leg, therefore I can't walk, but I'm okay.